It's four minutes. Oh, oh wait. Now it's live for sure. Sorry, your fans already know. It's not like your first show. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, I'm just actually late like, today. Um, you know, I'm just playing as much. Just saying, I'm just eating munchkins right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm eating some munchkins. Of, <laughs> lost track of you guys can wait up if I'm eating my munchkins. Mark, you gotta promise me you're not gonna stop person out loud. I promise. <laughs> I have a ridiculous <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, this one, this podcast won't be that for me. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Four point five thousand people watching. So you already got a Sharon. Mm -hmm. All um, right, so. No, it's just a show, so people see them like, oh wow. You guys. And they hop on. You ready? Yeah. Um, Come on. Hey everybody, my name is Taco Tess and you're watching Taco Show. Just let me know and comment down below. So today we got two very special guests here. You want, you want to introduce yourself? Amaya, Desmaraya. Yes, we got Amaya and Desmond right here and they're actually both sisters. So what Amaya came here for here today is she she's wanted to become an actress like me. I'm an actor, actress, you know? So she wanted some tips about how to get started and get a boost, right? Yeah. So first thing I wanted to talk about is when you first started acting, what what, what made you want to become an actress? <clears throat> um, I think... Like, did you just, like, see somebody <clears throat> on TV and, like, oh, I want to be that? Or something like that. Did you just think that you wanted to do it? It was fun. Yeah. You thought it was fun? Yeah. Yeah. So me, the same thing. I just thought it was fun. I didn't even think of anything. I just thought it was fun. You know? So what did your mom say when you first said, oh, I want to become an actress? What was the first reaction? So um, the first time I asked her was we were in the car. We were at my house. And it said, like, on the radio. And then I was like, Mom, we want to try this. So she called the number and sent me and my sister out. And then um, the day after that, we went. And she was like, Amara, you really, do you really want to do this? And then she, I was like, yeah. And then I ended up making it. You made it? Yeah. So you, you went to um, iPop, right? Uh, no. What was it called? I don't know. <laughs> you remember? No. So that's, it's crazy because that's the same thing that happened to me. You know, they, they started on my dad heard it on the radio and he, he just signed me up. That's exactly how it happened. So, and I can see why your mom is asking you, do you really want to do this? Because that's the same thing my dad asked. So, do you really want to do this? Yeah. And that's not what I mean when I, when I say, do you really want to do this? I mean, like, do you want to, like, take time out of your day, like, take hours and hours out of your day, miss parents and friends' birthday parties, like, just have to practice for hours and hours and just... I, that's that's what I mean. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. Like already, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, when you want to do this, who who's your inspiration? You know. Um, your mom. Your mom's your inspiration. Yeah. My mom's your inspiration. Why is she your inspiration? Because she's like. Because she's your mom. <laughs> yeah, and she's like really goofy and she's like i don't know she's like i don't know yeah she's just goofy and she's yeah. just weird yeah right yeah. Yeah. yeah so if your mom's watching right now you know she gotta make sure that like this is true i'm just gonna say straight facts like my dad my dad this if you want to become an actor or actress or anything you have to spend lots and tons of money into it you know, and that's just a fact. So if you're listening, you gotta spend a lot of money, you know, cause, cause you have to buy the equipment and you have to buy the cameras and the lights and you have to buy all this and stuff. So that's just one of the things that you need to make it in acting. You need to like spend a lot of money into it. That's what my dad did. My dad, we have like this thing in the, um, we have this thing in the attic. It's like two lights and we have a background and stuff. So that, that'd be a pretty good, pretty good thing to get for you and stuff, you know, because when they when they send you like auditions or anything and you're not there, 
you need it for that, you know. And have you ever have you gotten headshots yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And my first my first headshots was terrible, yo. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it was <laughs> it was horrible. I looked like a snail. <laughs> I looked like a ran over like kangaroo. Like, like no lie. Like, cause so what happened was we found this girl. And no, 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 the one before this. Oh. Yeah, you remember? So this girl, we found her, and she, she was like, "Yo, do you wanna? Um, do you wanna? Um, I'll, do, I'll take your headshots because I have to be headshots." We we're like, "Okay." She brought us to this abandoned house. It was like my, it was like all broken down. It looked like an ancient Egypt. And I was like, "What is this?" So we took it, and tell me how she messed up on it. So we had to actually go to her house. And like we had to go to her house. She had like three dogs, two daughters, and a husband. You know, so we had to go to her house and take pictures there. And the picture just came out bad. Came out horrible. So you gotta you gotta know where to get your right headshots. We went to GC Penny, and then we went to we went to IMTA and brought our headshots. My manager, she was like, "Those are a terrible time. You gotta get way better ones. Those are trash." And I was like, "Wow, wow." Um, They're honest. They are honest. My manager Ellie, she's honest with me, and like I don't even know what I could do without her, you know. And I don't, I don't think I have a manager yet, right, or an agent. And I mean, I it's pretty, it's pretty easy to get a manager and agent if you know what you're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you, I don't, you you could make it without a manager and agent, but they give you like a hundred percent boost if you get an agent. You don't even need a manager. Manager, you don't need that. Managers are basically managers for pet talks and all that, you know. But that's what you got your mom for. I basically tell my dad he's my manager. You know, I got a manager. So whether all you need is an agent, because the agent's the one who gets you all this and that, and what gets you auditions. And have you ever thought about like, like, because you do acting just in Boston, right? Yeah. Right now, have you thought about taking a step further and moving it to Cali? Yeah. Yeah. Has your mom thought that though? That's a different question. Mom's probably like, you ain't going to Cali. Don't stay right here. Sit your butt here and be your stuff. It. <laughs> well, it, I go to Cali and it, it's way better than Boston. And if you go to Cali, it'll definitely give you that step booster and just that extra, just, just, just that extra um movement just to get through the next door, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a lot of process though. Like me, I'm going back on July 12th. And you might be like, oh, I'm going to California? That's awesome! Me, I'm like, yay! Excited! You know, but I, I don't really like, because I've been there already like eight times, so it's been like new to me, you know? But yeah, and I heard <clears throat> you sing a little bit. Yeah. You sing and dance. Tell me about that. Um, why do you want to become an, a singer? Because I have a good voice. <laughs> you got a good voice? Yeah. Oh, so you did it for Voices for Youth, right? Yeah. You did it for Voices. Voices for Youth, guys, is at Eric B Media Studios, where I'm at right now, Unique Customs. If I ever just come down, even if you're not good at singing, good at singing, not good at rapping, you're rapping. And you know, um, just come down and do that. And I heard you will actually sing it too. Don't you ain't gonna be over there left out. So tell me, why did you want to become a singer? Did you want to become a singer because she was a singer? Or you wanted to be it just because? I wanted to be a singer because I look up to her and so I liked it. You want to you look up to your sister? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You, that's a good role model, you know? Mm -hmm. So how old are you? Nine. Nine and eleven. Yeah. You're two years apart. That's dope. So, you, so who's your like favorite actor in the whole industry? Um, I don't know. Yeah, who's your favorite actor right now? Do you watch a lot of movies? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, what, what's your favorite movie or my favorite actor? My favorite... I mean, I don't really have a favorite movie. You no? Know? No. No favorite movie? I, mean, I don't have a favorite movie. I just, I just have a lot of movies that I like. Yeah, same. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite actor is... Someone from... Bunked. Bunked? Yeah. Oh, um, is it the blonde girl? Yeah. That blonde girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, um, Payless. Yeah. Yeah, Payless is your favorite actor? Yeah. 
I like painless too. My favorite actor is Jim Carrey. Because mm -hmm. I'm funny. I think I'm funny, guys. Tell me if I'm funny or not. But yeah, he and he's really funny and I and I mm -hmm. try to um like um follow it in the steps, you know? Because I wanna be funny too, I wanna be comedian. If you be this big actor, which type of um roles do you wanna play? Like horror, comedy, action. Um What's your favorite? Do you like drama movies? I like drama movies. Drama movies? Yeah. So you like, like love and all of that type of stuff? Um, I like drama or action. Action? Yeah. Do you like the Avengers? Yeah. <clears throat> the Avengers and all those superheroes and stuff? Oh, I love Avengers. You know, action movies, I, I want to be in action and comedy. I feel like action and comedy are the two, like, best, for, in my opinion. Probably other people. Guys, tell me if you... Tell me if you guys, which genre is your favorite movie? Tell me, text in the chat, guys. Is it drama, comedy, any of those? You know? So, um, I, was, I also wanted to talk to you about is when you think of acting, do you do you wish your sister, like, do you try to get your sister into it or no? Yeah. You do? Like, do you think you would be more comfortable in this acting industry if she was here with you? Yeah. Yeah, why? Because even though like she's not doing it, she still like supports me and gives me a lot of like yeah bravery. Bravery, yeah, yeah. Do you, like when you when you're doing your audition tapes and you're doing like all this, all these like self tapes and auditions and monologues. Is she there helping you and like always there with you, supporting you? Um, not always, but when she is, it really helps. It really helps? Yeah. You get more, you get in so. Yeah. That's, that's for me and my dad. You know, when my dad's there, I get my zone. When we got there, I'm like, okay, great. Oh, that's amazing. Well, okay. Um, go step off so I, yeah. see, I don't really do it. I don't do it as good as if he's actually there. That's the same with you. Like, your mother's probably always there, like, when you're mm -hmm. doing it right. Yeah. And they, you probably like don't read it as good as if she's not there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how many mon? Do you like monologues? Uh, it depends on what. What type of monologue? Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, and and I heard your mother told me you learn scripts pretty fast. Yeah. 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 Well, me, I learn scripts pretty fast too. And what what helps you learn scripts? Like, do you have any type of like? What's it called? Do you have um, do you have a strategy that you use, or do you just keep reading it, reading it over and over? Do you like do stuff like look at a word, go back to it, or whatever? Uh, my first strategy was um, I'll do two lines, and if I could remember that, I'll do like another one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So you can just do the whole way through, do a whole through. So like two lines. Once you get that packed down, to the next lines. That pack and keep going, keep going, right? Yeah, that's dope, that's dope. And well, another thing is, when, when I'm acting, I know I get pretty nervous sometimes. Not that much, like certain times I get nervous. Do you really like get nervous and stuff when you start doing like like auditioning and stuff? Do you get nervous when you do that? Yeah. Why do you get nervous? I don't know. So um, the first time I went to Boston, yeah. Well, no, the second time I went to Boston, I was nervous, but then all the kids, they were like, I started like meeting new people and they were yeah. like really brave and yeah. they didn't have no fear and stuff. So yeah. I started like to being more confident. Confident. Do you, do you like, when you see other people, do you look up to other people? Like when you see somebody, just other person acting, do you like, wow, that's so amazing. You look yeah. up to them. You do. Do you, when you um started acting, is there any particular person that you looked at, looked up to besides your mom or your sister? Um, when I went out to Boston, there was this girl. She did an amazing job. It was so good. She had like, what is it called? Um, she was like acting out with her hands while she was doing it. She became yeah. Yeah, you gotta, that, that's, 
That's one of the main keys. If you're just standing like this, and hey same. Joey, <laughs> what are you doing, Joey? Yeah, um, I just got twenty bucks. See, it's it's boring. But when you do it, like, hey Joey, um, what are you doing? You gotta like put emotion to it and express what what you're saying. Because at certain times, people can sound corny and cheesy. And they'll just be like expressing it and like overdoing it in every single part. And you can't be doing that. Me, I you gotta I make sure I learn and and um like find out which words to express and which words not to express. Do you do that? Yeah. Do you express your words sometimes like, like when you're reading something, you're like, maybe that word shouldn't be expressed and like overdone and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah all the time. And your mom, do you like be honest? Your mom's over there, and I know she may hear this, but do you get mad at your mom sometimes when she's trying to tell you something about acting? Yeah. All the time? Yeah. Yeah, like, she'd be like, she'd be like, Oh my! You gotta do this right, yo! <laughs> yo, man! Yeah, you're trying to do it that way? No. You gotta do it this way, I <laughs> Go! You come back to her and say, she says the same thing! She, she, I bet she does that. I bet she's over there dying right now laughing if, she, if she's watching it right now. You know, I bet I bet she knows it's true. It's true. I know my dad does that. I walk in the room, he'd be like, he'd be like, so did you do anything today for acting? <laughs> he's laughing in the back of the room. I'll be sitting down. Like, I'll be sitting down. He'd be like, oh, hi, Dithi Karen. Hi, Dithi Karen. Thank you for tuning in. So he'd be, he be coming in. Yeah, Fortnite, but he doesn't need no rush. <laughs> and then he comes to me like, "Did you do anything today?" And I'm like, "Um, well, I looked at a video." And he's like, "So you didn't do anything today?" He's like, "Oh, bet you gonna change that right about? You better get yourself off that game, and you won't see what the path is about." And I'm like, mm. he always sends me stuff on Gmail, and like sends me all these scripts to do. I'm like. I, I, when I once I see that Gmail icon, I'm like, oh my god, no game for me today. <laughs> and and I heard you like Fortnite, and you like Fortnite too, right? Yeah. You guys both like Fortnite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, why do you? Why do you? Why do you guys like Fortnite? Like, what is? It? I started playing Fortnite before. Mm-hmm. Because I heard you started playing Fortnite before. For her. Why do you start playing Fortnite? Because my brother playing Fortnite. My brother playing Fortnite. So I started playing are you guys good at it? No. I'm not. I don't think so. Yeah. But it's so addicting, right? Yeah. My dad is on the stand and he's like, I can't even build some stairs, man. How are you supposed to do that? And I'm like, it's easy. You just gotta move your thumbs and move your fingers. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know. I got a song about it. If if we could, I would sing it to you guys right now, rap it to you guys, but you don't have the beat right now. So I don't know. I don't need the beat. I mean, I do need the beat. It sounds way better with the beat. I mean, I could put the beat on, but I don't know. If they get it working and they put the beat on, I'll play for you guys. I'll sing for you guys. So you guys, put the beat on right now. Put the beat on right now. Where's your phone? I'm working. Nah. I don't think you have it. Uh, no, you don't have it. You don't I, have I, it. I, I have it. Uh, maybe. Tell me. Tell me. No, it's not. It's not actually. Like, I could always do the, the beat to the Lego movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of it. Yo, Zio! I'm a better singer than you, Zio. Everything is awesome. Right? Better singer than Zio. Man, she need to put me on a cover. She she said I can only rap. Yeah. Hi, yo. You heard that? Yo, damn. That was fire. I can sing. I can sing. I've been singing with y'all all the time. He's singing my, my, my Bruno Mars. He's singing my Chris Brown. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're a better dancer, though. Yeah, I'm a better singer, too. You're a better dancer. <laughs> she was dance moves. She's listening to that. I knew she was listening to that. Yeah. So, do you, if you could, would you do a song with you? Yeah, you think you think it'd be fun? What, what, what would you want to sing about with her? You know? You gotta come up with some ideas, man. Um, I don't know. 
you want you can rap about you can rap about um you can rap about um dolls <laughs> and playing on my dolls <laughs> I'll never listen to that song. That's the song, right? I'm playing with my dolls. Up. I'm brushing in his hair. Look at you. Staring over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never listen to that song. Do you, who, who's the better singer? Okay. I need to. Her? I don't know. You need to fight back with that? You just said her? What? Why are you have no confidence in yourself? Well, I do. Yeah. You gotta have all the confidence. Like when I walk into a room and they're like, Do you got this? I'm like, like my dad this morning, he was like, Todd, are you sure you're ready for this podcast? I'm like, Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? You already know who I am. My name's Ty Cold Ted Ty Cold Podcast Show. I'm ready. Of course, like always. You gotta be ready. And today, walk in, and I, you gotta get used to it, you know? Because once you start doing it, me and my first podcast show ever. I was a little shy, and once I started doing it, I'm, I'm comfortable with it now. Now I'm like, this is this is easy. I just talk and talk, and that's what I do. I just talk and <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys get annoyed at me or if I'm annoying something, but I just talk and talk. And my parents get mad at me all the time. They're like, ah, oh, shut up. Always talking. <laughs> but yeah, but so another thing is, wait, do you, you guys dance? You dance? You dance? Mm-hmm. A little bit. You just dance with she's dancing. Yeah. Basically. Basically, yeah. So, what, do you, what type of dance do you do? Ballet, break dance, hip hop. Hip hop. Do you guys know break dancing? <laughs> you got the little cardboard? <laughs> cardboard, cardboard. Oh, little cardboard. <laughs> little cardboard, you be doing like some hand shakes. Listen, I'm throwing money on the floor. You, you, got, the, you got the beats. You got boom, 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 boom. You just start dancing. <laughs> no, I did. I, I did break dancing for four years and hip hop for four years. You can windmill. Windmill. Yeah. No. Oh, he's gonna learn the windmill. What? Well, what's the windmill? I mean, he's gonna learn the windmill. You know? I can do handstands and like. Oh, that's half of that. Yeah, right. you got you got the skills. You can do the windmills and you take the Adidas off and you put them back on and you see the Wait, what happened? Take the Adidas off. What? What? Hey, Hey, how you killing me? Oh, thank you. I'm trying. I'm not even trying. Actually, I'm just going with the flow. You already know. Down here, the dog. <laughs> now, I'm the flow. Oh so, so another tip in acting is once you walk into a room. Um, I don't know if you do this, but like, do you when you see other people? Do you are you like, damn? I think they're better than me. I don't know if I could beat them. Do you do that? Um. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You do that. I know we all do that. I do that sometimes. I do sometimes. But you can't do that, man. You can't. I started doing that when I first started. I was like, damn, that he, he's pretty tall. He's older than me. He's got better hair than me. He's look better than me. He smell better than me. Man, his eyebrows are probably in shape more than me, you know? And then, so that's, I, I started, I'd actually think about that. Yeah. So I, I thought I couldn't make it. When when he signed me up for the show, he signed me up for the show, for the, the audition um, in Boston, I didn't think I was going to make it. Honestly. I, I was like, I was like, Dad, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Like in my head, I was like, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm probably not even going to make it. It's just going to be a little thing, you know. But and then I made it. And I called my dad. I was like, like no, I said this thing word for word. I'm not even going to lie with any of you guys. I called on my dad because if you win, you get to go to California. So like, Dad. Guess what? We're going to California, baby! <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I said. I said, I'm going to California, baby. And he said, what? You want it? And I, and I was like, of course! Let's go in California! And then all you hear is my brother in the back of my mom yelling, let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so excited! <laughs> and, then, and then we went to IMTA. And IMTA got me a big deal. That's why I got my name. That's why I got it. I didn't, I don't know. My dad didn't know how to do half the stuff he does. He knows how to do now. How could you, your mom? If she keeps doing this with you, she's gonna learn a million new things that you never even knew was possible. Like my dad, he learned so many things. Like so many. I didn't even know. 
I didn't even know what they were. My dad, yo, he, he, he's learning how to edit videos now. He cropped me in half. He, he, he didn't even know how to work Instagram on one time. <laughs> and I was like, God, what do you mean? Just take a photo and post. And he's like, why not that? But you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then he, he's learning now. So your mom, if she, she got to push you sometimes. But she got to push you sometimes. Yeah. Uh, one thing, one person you got to watch. Probably not going to watch it. But I'm going to forget something. But if you do remember, go home. You can watch this person, um, Eric Thomas. He's really good. Watch Eric Thomas, you know, because what, what he is, he's an inspirational speaker. And he tells you about all these type of stuff that that will ruin you in life and all the stuff that will help you in your life. You know, so one thing I learned from him is, um, remember this, if somebody has to push you to do something, you don't really want it. So if somebody, if your mom, if you're doing something, your mom says, no, come on, keep trying, keep trying, keep reading it. That means you don't really want it. That means you don't want it that much. And you just want to go play some Fortnite right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to do. I, I used to be like, I used to always be taking my phone. I'd be like, it'd be 7.30, 7.35. I'll do five minutes, Dad. Am I good? I've been learning the script for five minutes. Can I go play Fortnite now? He's like, what are you talking about? Five minutes. Four more hours, go. <laughs> so it's true. You gotta, you gotta push yourself. You can't let other people take you and do it for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just one of the things you gotta do. You know. And another thing is you gotta stand out. Okay. Do you have you, you 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 gotta stand out? You know. Do you have a signature thing that you do for standing out? Me, what I do. Is I always wear a Boston Celtics backpack, and as you guys can tell on my podcast, I always wear visors. That's my standing out. I always wear the visors. So when people see me with a visor, he's like, "Oh, that's the kid from the Tiger Show." So if you guess, what do you think it would be? Right now, think about what would you take. Take your time. Anything you want. I don't know. You could probably. So, where do you live in Boston? No, I live in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what you could do is, do you have a favorite basketball team? Mm -hmm. Or soccer or anything? Favorite show? That yeah. you're watching right now with Scrooge? Um, you said Bumped? Yeah, I like that show, but my favorite show is. Um, it's this show called Pinky Malinky. Pinky Malinky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know it's like that. It's like that. Isn't it the one with the hot dog? Yeah. Yeah. That one. <laughs> 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 no, it's this show called Pinky Malinky, and it's about this hot dog. Ask it, guys. They probably don't know no Pinky Malinky. Pinky Malinky is Liddy. You guys don't have no Pinky Malinky. It's like a hot dog. And he got all the other type of stuff. It's just a bad show. You know, but it's a funny show. To get a pinky malinky headband. <laughs> or a pinky malinky um sure. sure. Pinky malinky fingernails. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta stand out somehow. You know? That's what you gotta do. Ah, that's what I do. I was asking my dad, I was like, what should I do? Should I wear should I wear a wizard's hat? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what a wiggly hole, oh, which is how I was like, oh, I know what to stand. I shall wear a SpongeBob outfit. He's like, no. And then he was like, just wear Boston and Celtics. That's your favorite team. So just do that. And yeah, that's what I mean. My favorite sport is basketball. Do you have any favorite sports that you can watch sports? Uh, yeah, basketball. Basketball? Mm -hmm. You do watch basketball? Mm -hmm. With basketball, play Fortnite. Which Fortnite is your favorite game right now? Um, What's your game? Favorite game? Not favorite game? No. So you want to play Fortnite like here and there? Yeah. You don't play all the time. Yeah. Right. What's your favorite thing to do when you're out of school? Um. Do you play with friends outside like that, or do you hang out with your sister? Hang out with my sister all the time. Yeah. What do you do? TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> you like the TikToks most of the time. 
Shall you sit on page? Remember the name? Shall you sit on page? Can be here, Miss Yerbao. You forgot it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Remember it? I will make sure to post it, and you guys will get. And you guys make sure to follow them when once I post it, find out what it is. You know. So so um, TikTok. Why did you get into TikTok? Um, I don't know. So last year, um, all my friends had TikTok, and um, I decided to try it out, and I started to get like addicted to it. Addicted? Yeah. You started to like, oh. Now you're doing it, uh, and you just yeah. go slow. <laughs> and the beat drops like, boom. I bet you did that before. The beat drops, and then you just go slow. I, I never did TikTok. I've always heard about it, but I never did TikTok. No, I'm just not a TikTok person or a musically person, anything like that. Did you do music when it was up? Yeah. You did music when yeah. So you already knew how to do TikTok already. Yeah. And I see somebody over there saying you should wear a Patriots jersey. Are you, are you a Patriots fan? Yeah. Yeah, Tom Brady, to be honest. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> you know. So it's Patriots here, baby. Uh, yeah. I'm going be honest. Guys, don't get mad at me. Don't. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Just don't say it. Put it on his hand. Yo, don't be getting mad at me, though. Your yeah, mom and my dad. My dad's the one who got me hooked on me. Hey, that's my routine. I watch football, basketball. Yeah, that's it. But, and then, and then. I also wanted to say something. Um, you guys probably don't know him. Probably. You know, maybe you guys know him. He's from the Boston Red Sox. You know, and tell me if you guys heard about this. I don't know if you guys heard about this yet, but David Ortiz, Big Poppy, he got shot a few days ago. What was it? It was a few weeks ago. Few days ago. Few days. Few days ago. He got shot. He's in the hospital right now, and I, and it was all over at line. And I was like. Wow, he, he plays for the Boston Red Sox. I don't know why. I don't know he got shot. But yeah, he got shot. And I just hope he really gets better. And I hope he does good and heals up and a little bit, you know? <clears throat> and another thing is, um, me. Well, I don't know about you guys. Did school have for you guys yet? No. How much did you guys watch? Uh, yeah, two more days. And I both have days. So you end on Friday. Mm -hmm. Me. My last day was today. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sister's last day, too. Today? Yeah. Today was your last day? No, not her last day. Oh. One of the other was Oh. Oh. The reason why my friend's last day is because, like you guys already know, I'm going to Canada next week. You know, tomorrow we're flying out to Canada. So I can be able to do my show next week. It's going to be my dad and the owner, Eric, over there. <laughs> And oh, and Zio's gonna do it. Bad. Zio's gonna do it, and they're gonna take a cardboard cutout of me, and they're gonna <laughs> lay it on this chair, and they're gonna like just talk. And, and they're gonna guys, put a visor on. It? Yeah, I'm they better. Put, <laughs> if they don't put a visor on them. <laughs> smack that cardboard box right out of you. No, you want to see it? In this town, we call it blasha. Yeah, blasha. Blasha. Sad dogs. Russian. Guys, and just, just, guys, I don't know, but if you guys want to see that show, that episode, I don't know if they're going to do that good. You know, they might do really, really bad. <laughs> just saying, because, you know, I'm the, you know, they don't got me there. You know, to die, though. See, you know, <laughs> just <laughs> saying. The show. The, the show's going to be corny. It's, it's going to get the most views, watch. <laughs> the most views? Yeah, the most views. <laughs> you know what that meant? That meant Moses. All that just meant Moses. That's how you say it in African way. That's how you say it. Sign language. Sign language. I I I never learned sign language. All I know is. <laughs> no 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 no. Oh, wait wait wait. No it goes. It means lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> it means lunch time. <laughs> oh, that. It means lunch time. 
I love to eat. What's your favorite dish? I like chicken rice. Don't even tell me. Don't even start chicken rice. My favorite is chicken rice and blood red beans. It's called blood red beans. Ping beans. That's what it's called? <laughs> what you put in your rice? Yeah. I thought it was called red beans. You do red or pink. Red or pink. Red or pink is the difference. They both sound the same. But, yeah. And back to acting, because I know that we got a little off topic there. Jimmy Crapo, Jeremy, what? Give me a side out. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That's acting because we got a little off track. And do you want to, is there any platforms that you got that you want to shout out? Instagram or anything to make a follow in your acting journey? Because one big thing about it is nobody's going to know who you are if you don't post yourself. See, my dad, he always posts me on his Instagram. Your mom probably always posts you on hers. But you gotta post on yours. Do you have Instagram? No. And I don't know if your mom lets you Instagram. She has a Facebook page. You have a Facebook page? Yeah. Perfect! Uh, I don't know. That's your first and last name. Um, well. <laughs> you gotta tell them. Tell them what it is. Amaya. Amaya what? Madera. Amaya. Mur Madera. Yeah. How do you spell Madera? Madera. M A D E I R A. Remember that, guys. M I D E I R A. M A D E I R A. M A D E I R I A. <laughs> yeah. So go check it out, guys, and go follow, cause you know I can only tell. What's your? You have a Facebook, or Instagram, man? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. So you, go follow her, and she's gonna be. Just go follow her acting. You know, and because what you gotta do is every little thing which I've been learning over the years, and I still don't do it. I should keep doing it. But one thing you gotta do is with you, every little thing you do, you take a TikTok. Hey, might as well go on your Facebook. Number. Hey guys, um, I just want to let you know I'm gonna go take a quick TikTok. Make sure you go check the new one now. Give me as much hearts and likes as you can. Please just go do it, and it will be much appreciated. And by the time you know, the next thing you come, you got 20,000 people. Oh my God. For real. That's what you got to do. That's what I do. That's what I do on my cycle show. You got to keep posting yourself every day, every single day. Every day, at least two posts. If you really want to do this. But even two posts each every, each other day. That's that's what I mean by do you really want to do this. You gotta, it's not just the acting part. Just because... You might be the most best actor in the room. You, 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 I mean, might be you and 10 other kids. And you might be the best one, the best actor, actress in that room. And you still won't get the part. You know why? Because maybe those other people have a bigger fan base than you. Because you didn't post yourself. But they posted themselves every single day. But they weren't as good as you. Maybe they were bad. But they still got the part because once those... Um, once those, once those directors, once those directors search you up, and they don't see nothing, they'll be like, oh, this girl got no experience. She's not good at all. Mm -hmm. They search up the other guy, they got a whole page of stuff he did. <laughs> and they're like, oh, wow. It's too tomatoes. <laughs> Opposite. See what I mean, though? That's what you gotta do. Post yourself every single day. And, and do you have an experience when you messed up on something like really bad, like an audition or anything. My first audition, I was really shy. Did you mess up? Yeah. Two yeah. times. On the words? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's not it, it's it's not bad to mess up because um you can always fix those in your next audition. You maybe don't get those. You could be doing like you. You might want to give up in the next two years. You know why? Because you could do a thousand auditions and not get one of them. In a thousand and one audition, you get that. You know, because uh, I don't know. Have you ever watched The Hunger Games? Hunger Games? Yeah. Well, there's a movie called The Hunger Games. And there's a girl in the off got a name. Who's the girl that plays in The Hunger Games? And that just played in Red Sparrow? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I, you guys must know what the, the, the main girl of Hunger Games and they just created the new Red Sparrow. Right? That's mm -hmm. the new Red Sparrow. Guess what happened to her? She started acting around like the age of like five or eight. And she didn't get nothing. Not one thing <coughs> until like the age of like 18. And she still, and she still had confidence that she was going to get it from the age of like eight to 18. And then again, nothing. And she finally got her big appearance in Hunger Games. And that's, that's crazy. That's why me, I'm like, I know I want some, even if I, even if the bad happens, I'm like, one time I went to an audition and um, after the audition tape, I went to the, I went to the, um, I went to the, the, the director and I went to go shake her hand. And guess what she did to me? She went, she went, she went. Oh, we don't do any of that stuff around here. No. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. And I was, I was kind of mad. Like, why would she do that? Was she got germophobic. She don't want to touch my hands. Hands are clean, man. Come on. Wash them every day. Your hands are dirty. How was this? Yo, guys, all I'm saying is if you see this in the chat right now, I will still school you in basketball. Just know, Eric can't even dribble the ball. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to. It looks like he's trying to dribble a sandbag. He's like, he's like. They come back up. We're gonna do this live. You want to do this live? We're gonna have a special show. You wanna out on the court? Episode ten, special show. That's what we're gonna do it. All right, guys. Episode ten. Tune in, me and Eric are me doing one on one in basketball. You guys are gonna see my real skill. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Stuff. Kobe. You can't even dunk. <laughs> You're gonna put a pillow on your butt. <laughs> what? Sitting on the court. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting on the court. He yeah. Can, he can dunk donuts. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, all he's gonna be doing is like this. He's gonna post me up. You know, I'm doing what I was doing. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Are you gonna make that noise? Are you gonna make that noise? If you make that noise, I'll come watch. <laughs> no. <Are you> kissing? <laughs> <laughs> He's intimidating. Yeah. That is kind of frightening. No. No, I meant. I meant. He's gonna be trying to post me up, and he hits me right here and push him back. Oh, okay. <laughs> You can't get fast because he's weak. You see these muscles? Mm -hmm. Okay, everything a little quiet. <laughs> muscles. So, guys, send me some equipment, Aka. You need some shoulder pads. Shoulder pads for what? <laughs> we ain't playing football out there, are we? Like street ball. <laughs> Yo, Eric, come in this podcast right now. I want to show you what you look like. Yeah, they see it. Episode one. First episode we ever did was with Eric, and he did an amazing job. Very smart, Hold on. but not good at basketball. Just saying, he's not that good at basketball. Hold on, I got you. Ready? Yep. Wrong one. Whatever, guys. You can keep going. I'll be in a circle. What's up? <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you get a longer head than you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, his head isn't really that long. It's like hey, that. Really that long. <laughs> <laughs> It's very it's like a like a ball. It's no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see him. Yeah, see you doing it. No, yeah, I look like I'm um, sorry. I look like. <laughs> this is the crew today here. This is behind. <laughs> this is behind the crew. This is my dad. Oh, dad, what are you doing? Why are you looking at the TV and the way? <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. I'm I just lost you. And it's right there. Who are you getting like over there? Okay. Guys, back to you two. The main attraction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to you. No, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you all. Now it's your turn. You want to tell me you shy now? You shy? No. I mean, you never shy. And I heard there's a goofball out of you two, right? 
should they go far you two? Yeah. Why should they go far? What should you do for? Um, she's always dancing and making me laugh. What's your favorite song when you dance? You know my favorite? You just dance to any song and name off the song? Yeah. She catches you, what she say? She's like, look at you. <laughs> look at you. And when I got you might laugh a little bit. Don't laugh at me, please. Please don't laugh at me. You know, I, I, one time I went to my, I went to my grandma's house, and she put on some Puerto Rican music, and I asked like, "What?" Puerto Rican music. I turned around and I was like. <laughs> and then she was like, and then she was like, shake that. And I was like, I'm trying to dance. It's just from the moment. Yeah. I bet she dances better than you do. Mm -hmm. Oh hell! Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, but um. When I don't know when you do this, but when I watch a movie, me and my dad we watch a movie. We look at how the actors, um, how the actors be moving, talking. Do you do that when you watch TV or anything like that? You don't do that. You just like for entertainment. Yeah. yeah. What I do is because I I've actually been behind the scenes of movie stuff. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, I'll never see a movie the same because I know how they're actually doing it now. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And then, because I already know what they're doing. I talk to other people, like special effects and stuff. They was like, oh, did you do that? Me, I'm like, that's cool. Wow, that's amazing. But see, I already know it's what's going on. It's not easy. It really isn't easy. See, if you want to become an actress, me, dad, you might be scared. But if I go to an action movie, I'm like, yeah, no stunt double. Nobody looks like me. Nobody looks this good. <laughs> no one looks this good. No one got this hair. Jeez. You can't get like me. <laughs> so, in one time, it has nowhere to guess up. I don't know he's out right now. You might hear right now, though. Um, he's the Puerto Rican Fonzie. I just put it together. He's Spanish of course. He's a Spanish Fonzie. Who's Spanish Fonzie? Now, you know Fonzie. You don't know Fonzie. He doesn't. He'll find out. Fonzie, leather jacket, motorcycle. Hey. Fonzie was the was hey. man here. Hey. So I'm the man you saying? Absolutely. I'm the man? Absolutely. And then the girls. <laughs> the ladies. The ladies. Oh. 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 Yeah. So another thing that I do, um, have you ever like when you're watching a movie, have you ever tried to learn like um a scene? Like take that scene and try to learn the words to it and like so when you're watching it over again. You're saying the they're saying the, the words with them. It's a good thing to do. It's really fun. I do that sometimes. No, not all the times. So I do watch it for entertainment. I I don't like talking when I'm watching movies. Like my brother, he be talking and I'm like, Can you shut up? And he be talking, he's like, Oh my god, look at he's gonna die. No. I'm like, like you never seen anyone die in a movie before. So, my brother. I don't know if you guys watch the podcast show, but I don't know if you know who he is. Avant. Yeah. He just he just did a queen. He, he's gonna be cool. He's I'm ever we haven't told you yet. My brother Avant. He's gonna be coming on the show again. Which meaning and he's gonna be doing a whole queen um Freddie Mercury performance just for you guys. Because he does it awesome. Like he really does. He really does. Uh, do you know Queen is? No. You know who Queen is? No. And he. Suspense. He is the he is he's literally the best rock star, right? Rock star. He's a rock star. The best rock star performer ever. Have you ever heard? We are the champions, my friend. That's Queen. Have you ever heard? Another one bites the dust. Mm -hmm. Another one that's I want it. Yeah, that's Queen. That's all Queen. He made all those songs. And 
he unfortunately died in 1991, 45. Yeah. So he'd be doing a whole quick performance, and I can't record it. I I can't mean I can learn the songs, but I say I can sing. Oh, I can't sing in the shower. Mm -hmm. But nobody's listening. You guys do that? You sing in the shower? <laughs> I put on. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I put on a Cardi B. I'm like. I like it like that. <laughs> I watch myself. I like it like that. Mm. I like it like that. Mm. Hey, I like it like that. Yeah. I love Cardi B and Drake and all that. Do you have any singers? Can you sing? Do you have any um, special singers that you love? Um. <laughs> Me, I, I like Ariana Grande. I ain't the fuck. I don't care. It could be a girl, it could be a boy. Hey, listen, I love Ariana Grande. She is amazing, man. She is. Have you ever heard her do impressions? No. On Jimmy Fallon? No. You gotta watch it sometime. It, it'll blow your mind. She's well, she's, she's unbelievable. She's good at impersonating. She is incredible. She did Christina Aguilera and like four or five other artists. I don't know who Christina Aguilera is. Yeah, you can fire Del Nino. No? Oh, uh, yeah. He's seen her, but he just don't know. Ty, we're going to hang out, buddy. We're going to get some culture built in here <laughs> right um, quick. My, my oh, dad yeah. only plays after, like... after I beat you in basketball. Yeah, after <laughs> E Rock beat you in basketball, we're going to put a jetpack on you and get you some culture. You, you, you get me mad. <laughs> Get me mad, yo. Your ears are turning red. My ears? Yeah. From what? You're getting mad. You look like me sitting out in the sun for five minutes. <laughs> you, you're sitting in here and you're in a red. I know. I was outside for five minutes today. <laughs> Do some sales promotions. Get beat red. Get a couple extra freckles. <laughs> so... When you <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so back to the actors. Yeah. Yes, of course, the mean attractions. I'm waiting on them to dance. Yeah. I'm not dancing. Yeah, you can't move. Sure. You, you should. sing for us? I'm going to sing. Wow. No, we can sing for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> Like, uh, I guess it's a no no. I guess it's a no. So, what was I going to get back to? Well, I was going to say. Wow. Well, so, oh wait, another thing is when you sing, have you ever, like, do you do singing at your school and stuff? Or do you just, like, sing at home? I just sing at home. Yeah? Yeah. Do you do plays, like, for acting and stuff at your school? No, I don't do plays. You don't play at your school? No. I never heard of a school that owns a place. It's crazy. Like, I, I don't do any place. My, you might laugh at this. My first play I ever did, my first play I ever did, I was a caterpillar. <laughs> I didn't even, I was, no, no, because well, I was a caterpillar, right? And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> And then, That's and, then and then I thought I thought I was amazing. From Yo, I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, for real. And I was doing that. And then after that, this was even worse. So I went to California for, for my acting. When I came back, my acting teacher from like in school didn't even know how to act, and she gave me the worst role in the entire script. You know which role she gave me? She made me a baby. <laughs> you know, I, I had to sit on the ground. I was like, that's a bunch of time I was crying to play with these blocks. I was like, wah! 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 <laughs> I was so mad at my teacher. I was like, because there was a main role I forgot what it was called. You got to sing, dance, and you got to like do all this. Like, she made me a baby. If you could meet any actor in the entire world, who would it be? Um, I think oh my God. someone, um, 
was from, I think, Zendaya. Oh, Zendaya? Yeah. Zendaya, the one who was Spider-Man in case you had the cover. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. And then there, she's cool, yo. Have you watched, do you know the movie Great Showman? No. There's no movie, got one. <laughs> if you like Zendaya, you gotta watch the Great Showman. So there's, and then she's like this gymnast. I love the Great Showman. Tell me, tell me, guys, if you have watched the Great Showman. Great Showman, I, it's amazing for me. I love that for me. Well, if I, if you could be with any singer in the entire world, who would it be? I mean, any, you get to be eating dinner with them. Any person in the entire world, who would it be? I don't know. Nobody? You, you want to go maybe... Really? You don't know? How about you tell them? What, what, what do you think she would, like, throw? Um... What's the song that you wanted to pick for you from yesterday? Oh, Tell us about it. <laughs> um, she wanted to pick. What's it called? It's a little part of it. Uh, I don't think. I don't know. Mm-hmm. She ended up picking um, Little Do You Know. Little Do You Know? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go so. Who's it by? Who's it? Yeah. Annie. Oh, Annie? Isn't that a movie, Annie? Yeah. Is that from that? Is that from that? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I wish you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know the song. I don't, I never watched it. Well, I did one time, but I would never watch it after that. You know, great movie and the music in it is really good. Told you! I told you, Grand Showman, the music. Smack like a doobie. I don't know what that means. Uh, back, back to acting. <laughs> back to acting. Do you have a phrase that you say? Like me, you, you see how I do I say, let me know and comment down below. Do you have anything that you can say? No. Nothing? <laughs> yeah. Um, gotta, gotta get a phrase. You gotta get some stand out. You gotta get a weird hairstyle, maybe. Okay. <laughs> get some half orange and half. I mean, pink. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta stand out. Make yourself look like a a bowl of fruity pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> then you will really stand out. I really stand out. You be like, it's good, guys. Pebbles here. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then everybody will be like, oh my god, you're the Fruity Pebble girl! <laughs> and, then, and by the time you know it, Fruity Pebble's gonna be sponsoring you. And by the time you know it, you're gonna be in Mad Fruity Pebbles. And by the time you know it, your whole time's gonna be colorful. <laughs> you know? It was just gonna be amazing. Guys, it's time to end the show. And I hope you guys enjoyed the two special guests. You know, the little shot today, they did a really good job. So thank you. Come on the show and thank you for coming to the show. And yes, this is the Taco Show. Remember, follow me on Instagram at ty.cortez. And yes, follow me on TikTok. I'll be posting it. Um, and hopefully, I can find out. If I don't find out, then I won't post it. <laughs> 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 but if I do find out, then I will post it. Yeah, and this is the last show you can see it from me for now in, in two weeks. Next week, I won't be. Next week, I won't be doing the podcast show with my dad and the owner, Eric. And the podcast show after that, um, podcast show number nine, I'll be here by eight. They're doing it. So thank you guys for the podcast show. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys, hope you guys got a couple of laughs out of it. And see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>